I'd like to introduce the inaugural class of California Partnership Academy Distinguished Academies. Now we know, and I've said on a regular basis, that I get um, the distinct pleasure of advocating for the best teachers in the world. And I, and I honestly mean that, and I think if you look around you, you'll know that that's the truth. For the first time ever this year, we've decided that for a couple of reasons, maybe because it was absolutely time, but also because of the fact that that with um, a number of initiatives in our state, it's absolutely imperative that we promote ourselves and let people know the kind of quality work that we do. And one of the ways that we can do that is through recognition of our very best programs. These are the result of about a six month process of vetting of these programs. Each of these programs was found to be complete compliance with Ed Code and to step up and, do, and go above and beyond the call of duty and providing such things as our articulation agreements, dual credit arrangements, and industry certifications for their students to provide them a, a clear pathway into their future and we're very proud of them. The first school we're going to recognize is Cathedral City High School Health and Environmental Health and Academy of Learning from Palm Springs, California. Coordinator Mary Zweig. Administrator Karen Dimmick. Principal Guillermo Chavez. District Administrator Steve Pinning. And I'd like to give special kudos to my uh, recently retired friend, Diana Lamar, who was a longtime uh, District CTE Director in Palm Springs Unified and does a job of, of putting together academies that are as good as or better than any in the state. The HEAL Academy provides a unique blend of health careers and the study of environmental factors that affect human wellness. They've long partnered with the scientists studying the salt and sea and been involved in understanding this environmental catastrophe and working towards its renewal. Students in this program can earn five industry certifications and all graduates have participated in at least 200 hours of community service. And administrative support for the HEAL Academy is terrific at all levels and that's a commitment that you'll see in all of the programs that we're going to uh, that we're going to honor today. Thanks to the rigor of this program, many of their students matriculate to four-year universities on graduation despite starting as highly at clientele. Please a big hand for the Cathedral City Hill The next academy that we're going to honor is the Ceres High School Manufacturing Academy from Ceres, California. Co-coordinators are Tracy Clark and Chris Van Meter. Administrator in charge is Ed Pelfrey, Principal Linda Stubbs, and District Administrator Julie Lynn Martin. The Ceres Manufacturing Academy, as one of our SBX11 Clean and Renewable Energy Academies, is a four-year program serving students in the Central Valley. Administrative and industry support at all levels is remarkable in this program and allows a terrific team of teachers to accomplish some very impressive goals. It hasn't always been that way. Their principal, Linda Stubbs, told me that when Chris Van Meter recently retired from the Army and joined their team three years ago as a CTE teacher, that the program really took off. Thanks in part to his abilities and energy, strategic collaboration between academic and CTE teachers, and abundant opportunity to practice what they learn. Their sophomores routinely pass chemistry, juniors thrive in physics, and remarkable things are achieved in their CTE lab, including, get this, they design and craft prosthetic hands and, and work in advanced robotics. A long list of devoted and involved industry partners provide excellent opportunities for great careers after graduation, and this helps Ceres High School merit distinguished academy status. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Next, Peter Johansson Agriculture Ad Academy from Modesto, California. Coordinator Gary Gerhardt, Administrator Dan Iverson, 
Principal Nathan Scharr, and District Administrator Kim Kamstra. The Ag Academy at Peter Johansson High School offers a wide variety of agriculture-themed courses that allow their students to experience the many facets of the industry in what is described as the total agriculture experience. Having worked closely with their district and site administration, the Academy has been able to upgrade and expand with livestock pens, a welding facility, and greenhouse areas, allowing them to ensure that all students are able to participate in year-long research-based ag product projects that relate to their individual career goals. With strong ties to local business, this team has developed a unique business venture that allows all of its students to receive no-interest loans to purchase animals for their projects. Due to the communal support they, their students receive, many graduate with an abundance of credits, allowing them to have the opportunity to attend college or move directly into the workforce. Congratulations, Peter Johansson Ag Academy. Next, I'd like to recognize River City Engineering, Science, and Technology Academy right here in West Sacramento, California. The coordinator, Sadiqa Yousefi. Administrator in charge, Ben Kingsbury. Principal, Stan Mosich. And District Administrator, Renee Collins. River City High School's team has done a terrific job of making highly technical, highly rigorous curricula a matter of course for their students, and the culture of this program has made it fashionable among their clientele to succeed. Students in the Engineering, Science, and Technology Academy can graduate from high school with college credits, industry certifications, and a healthy background in industry that is growing faster than the ability to hire qualified employees. Thanks to solid leadership at the district and site, and the nurture dedication of their coordinator. This partnership academy has developed strong relationships with industry, their local community, uh, colleges, and UC Davis. They, like so many of our distinguished academies honored today, graduate virtually 100% of their students, and they graduate with solid skills and a strong sense of the value of their community, their academy, and their family. Congratulations. Next, I'd like to honor Serrano High School Multimedia Academy from Felon, California. Coordinator Mike Fell, Administrator in Charge Lisa Hansen, Principal Dan Andrus, and District Administrator Ryan Holman. Serrano High School's Multimedia Academy has been established in the Snowline School District for over 20 years. I remember meeting them when the whole crew was different a long time ago when I was a little baby teacher. The program is highly effective due to the culture of family that's maintained. Teachers open their doors early before school to hold daily breakfast bar where students can network with peers and teachers. The unique distribution of leadership amongst the teaching team sets a true model for students of collaboration and effective teamwork. The academic expectation set for the students is highly motivating factor as expressed by the MMA students in interviews. One, is, uh, one student's comment sums up the reason why Serrano High School is being recognized as a distinguished academy. Without these teachers, I wouldn't be where I am today. I would probably have dropped out or who knows because I am in the academy, I'm a better person. Yeah, they made me want to be a better person. Thank you very much for your hard work. Congratulations. Next, I'd like to recognize Valley View High School Allied Health Academy from Moreno Valley, California. Coordinator Catherine Martin, Administrator Principal um, Kristen Hunter, and District Administrator Maria Lozano. Excellent industry and post-secondary partnerships are the hallmark of the Valley View Allied Health Academy, who were conducting a student-organized blood drive on the day that we visited. 
Partnerships with large hospitals and local physicians provided the opportunity for students to see all aspects of the health industry and articulation with both two and four year colleges and universities allow them a clear view of the education required in order to achieve their goals. This is a program that not only focuses on the health industry, they also take great pride in the health of their CPA team, which has numerous members who have worked together through all 18 years in their existence. This strong team has infected their students with the same spirit of community through powerful and effective team building activities. Congratulations, Valley View. Uh, and finally, that, I'd like to recognize Ignacio Valley High School Health Science Academy in Concord, California. Coordinator Shannon Carr, Administrator Principal Emma Huckabee, and District Administrator Stephanie Roberts. If you visit the Health Science Academy at Ignacio Valley High School in Walnut Creek, you'll be greeted by professional students who will greet you, reach out to shake your hand, introduce themselves, and look you in the eye. This academy is all about professionalism and high expectations. Students know they can succeed. As one student told the visiting team through the academy, we can know we know we can make it. All students are active members of HOSA and participate in regional, state, and national events. Every student proudly wears a HOSA jacket. In addition to HOSA events, students are able to earn CPR first aid and first responder industry certifications as well as to take classes at their local community college. College. A large advisory committee with healthcare professionals, college staff, and parents provide support with high quality work based learning experiences and projects. Health Sciences Academy is truly a distinguished academy. Congratulations, Ignacio Valley. Once again, I'd like to thank my, um, my new friend, Naomi Young for uh, being with us here today and to all the distinguished academies. We hope this is a project that we can continue for years to come because um, it's about time we recognized our best and brightest, isn't it? Thank you all very much.